Okay class, today we'll use Essence to model a bar system. Uh, well, first we'll have a review what is a bar truss system. A uh, truss system, well, is made of uh, bars and each bar has a uniform cross section. The bars are connected by frictionless pins. The loads are only applied to joints. Okay, as a result, each bar only carry actual load and there is no bending resistance. Okay, the problem we'll work on is a truss bridge. So the geometry is given below and the two ends uh, at the, on two sides are fixed and forces are applied in the, in the middle. The material is a Douglas fir. So its property has been given. The cross area is six centimeter by six centimeter rectangle. Okay, with this information, we'll go into SS workbench. Here we'll create a static structural project. Now we have this project. First, we'll go to engineering data, double click on engineering data. Here we click here to add a new material. Douglas fir, we name it as Douglas fir, enter. And then we define some material property. We go to, we'll use linear elastic isotropic elasticity to define this property where we'll change Young's modulus to 1.32, then 10 to 10, enter. Poisson ratio 0.29, enter. Now we have this material, go back, close the engineer data, go to next step, geometry, where we, cho we choose the line bodies. So Till that will you this is a bar and truss system. Next step is double click geometry. So which will lead us to a geometry editor space claim. All right, now we are in space claim, where we'll go to the working work, work region and right click, select a new sketch plane and where you can find different plane view. So I will use X, Y plane, left click and then X, Y plane is fixed. Go to plane view. Now we have a 2D view of it. So before start our drawing, we'll go to file tab Go to space options where we will change this unit to fill us to draw the truss system where we'll choose meter and then we'll increase the precision up to four and then go all the way down to the minor grid spacing we will pick as 0.1 meter click OK and now we start our sketching okay so because the truss, the truss system is symmetrical along the middle line. So to simplify the problem, we will first sketch a construction line in the middle. So we draw a sketch line in the middle. So you can, the length is not important because so you can pick any length. Make sure that it's 90 degree, it's vertical. So after have this construction line, select in the select mode click on this line and we'll select it as right click set as mirror line so in this way that if we draw lines on one side the other line will have an image of it the other side okay so uh, now we go back to sketch mode we select line so we start from here from the middle and go all the way up to let's see one meter and then from there we'll go to one meter and you'll see that the image has been shown on the other side so go down one meter all the way to the middle one meter and then we start from a corner to the other corner 
Okay, and then we press escape and we start from click on this side one meter up and then escape escape you can press escape escape twice and it will go to the select mode or you can directly click select mode right after that so choose the construction line and press delete because we don't need the mirror line anymore so we delete it so after that we will use all the lines choose all the lines and create a beam so to create a beam we will uh, make the lines to 3d by generating profiles for it so the way to do it is go to prepare tab prepare tab click on it and go to profile so here you can set the profile as rectangle all right now all these lines become beams and see that we have all the beams with rectangle cross area so we need add it to the cross uh, rectangle there's a beam profiles the rectangle we need to add it is geometry so right click on it added beam profile and we'll go into uh, another working region so you you can switch the working region and here for this rectangle we'll change the geometry but click on B click on its value change it to 0 0.06 enter click change the other dimension click on this value change it to six centimeter enter okay you can use middle or the middle roller to change the perspective you will see that okay now we have this what we'll do is we can close this cross profile cross area profile we switch back to the design and go to structure and one more thing is we want combine all these beams the way to do that is again you can choose all the beams by drag a rectangle then to enclose all the beams so all the beams will be selected so in this structure panel region you can right click on any of it there's drop down menu click move to new component so all the beams will uh, combined into a new component let's name that component one use the default value and then click on the component one so you will see that the property there is a shared topology change the shared topology to merge so all the beams this is more important all the beams will be merged as a joint point so after that well you can we can close it before uh quit from space claim so we, we i want to show you that we can look at the geometry we have created so we can go to the prepare we want to look at this cross area we can choose like a solid beam and then what we'll to change the perspective you can press the middle roller of your mouse and then move around you will see it and you can see that cross area has been created all right and then after that we can save our design and then we can quit okay next step is go to the model so double click model which will lead to the mechanical modeling app
All right, the geometry has been loaded into mechanical modeler. So when you set up the modeling, so the first step is go to geometry, click on beam, and then in the details beam panel, go to the material, and then for the assign a material, we'll choose Douglas fur, which is the material we have created. Okay, so now assign the material, click on mesh. So here we'll uh, mesh the geometry. So the way we want to mesh in a way that each bar will be an element, because this is a simple bar truss system. To, to make it happen, and we can choose an element size much larger than the bar size. Like a 10 meter, which is much longer than the bar length. And in this way, right click on mesh and then generate mesh. In this way, each bar will become one element. And we don't need to cut the bar into small, smaller pieces. Okay, with this mesh, next step is to go to uh, static. So we want to insert, right click on static structure, insert fixed support, or we'll fix two end. So we'll change to XY plane by click on Z. And here, see if you click on fixed support, and the, we need to apply fixed support to some object. The way to do that is we'll choose vertex. That means when we select, what we will select is vert vertices. So we will select one vertex and press control of your keyboard and then press another vert vertex. So when you press control and both vertex will be selected and then click apply. Now, one boundary has been applied. The other boundary condition we will apply is to apply force. So to do that, is right click on static structure, insert force. Uh, we need to select object to apply the force. So again, make sure that vertex had been selected. Then after that, select the vertexes, vertices. So by press control, when you press control, all three vertices will be selected and then applied. And then we set the value for, for the force. Then in the, in the panel uh, of details of force, choose components. We don't want to use vector, we want to use a component to assign value. So the value if you look at the coordinates, the value is along, the force is applied along y direction, actually it's along negative y direction, go downward. So minus 90,000, I'm assigning I'm assign 90,000 because this is applied to three vertices and each vertex will be 30,000. The enter. Okay. Boundary condition has been successfully applied. The next step is we we'll want output some value. The first thing is right click on solution, insert deformation. I want to look at the total deformation. Another thing I want to look at is also insert. I go to probe and force direction on support. Okay, you will see there's a question mark means that there's something you have to assign. So with the boundary condition for the force direction, we choose fixed support. Okay, after that, everything uh, is ready. So, next step is right click on solution, click on solve. Okay, the calculation is ongoing. Well, it's finished, and then you can look at the deformation and you can look at. The animation of the deformation, you will see the maximum value is uh, around 0 0.006 and the unit is a meter. Well, you can also look at the force reaction. The force reaction 
you can go all the way down so the force the reaction force on the two fixed points is also 90,000 so force balance have been satisfied means the, the simulation is good all right and then we'll look at the video again and for to we'll end today's video here